Hi, this is a short intro for the MCRPG that Ron Smalek has come up with. It's temporarily named MCRPG. It's an attempt to bridge tabletop role-playing with 3D visualization of the story through Minecraft. Okay, so I, Adobe, what are you doing? We've got a zombie who's not really able to get into the room. Here we go. Let's chuck a couple in. I think you've got, oh, you guys are over here. <laughs> <laughs> I keep wanting to throw them at your uh, armor stands. All right, so basically, <laughs> one, once you wind up these, uh, once you wind up these zombies, uh, you're able to kind of protect yourselves back in the houses. You do have food. Uh, you're able to sort of recover, and it is now morning. You don't hear any more zombie growls or spiders. You heard some skeletons at one point, but they seem to have wandered off during the night. So, you, you're feeling safe enough. What would you like to do? Well, we should probably repair this house that we destroyed. I can just check on Demetri and see if he's all right. Okay. Oh, I'm so okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Dimitri fell asleep a few minutes ago, like a little while ago, in his in his bed after the mobs were gone. So <laughs> you know exactly what I'm doing, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So morning comes. You guys come outside. I'm assuming at some point you guys wake Dimitri up. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> All right. So in in general, what do you guys what is your plan for the day? Um did we recover any of our health while sleeping and eating and such? Yeah, I think that I think that's fair. <laughs> that is how long you take damage again. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> you had a bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I attacked him. <laughs> Alright, this is quicker. Oh, he's because he's running around jumping off stuff. Okay. So you guys are up, you're starting to move about. The journal mentioned something on the hill to the west. Okay. Uh or we could go back and check out that structure. By the, the water. Well, we don't have obsidian to complete the, the portal, so. I have one thing of lava. Well, we need two blocks of obsidian. So, let's go to the hill. And do, do you. So, yeah. I think as you guys are kind of discussing what to do, can we just say that, like, Felonius's character gets clued in. Yeah, we update Felonius. <laughs> no, no, no. I just no, keep on. I just keep on going where you're going. Now that you're back, I'm not okay. really interested in what you're doing. Sorry, so you guys, but so you it's guys want to head west then? I guess. Okay, let's let's head west, and I'm gonna have you guys actually walk where you want to go. <clears throat> Dimitri, I've heard they have the best mailboxes at this place we're going to. Sounds nice. Sounds nice. Then perhaps we are home. That would be nice. So, that hill there, we couldn't really get up and didn't really see anything, so maybe it's further this way. There's another hill up there. Yeah. All right, so as you kind of crest this part of the uh, hill, here's some stuff. You, you see a very unusual patch of burnt ground. Like the ground is just charred. The Some of the gravel is melted together into a solid mass. And so what has these like sheep some, been doing? Some debris has maybe fallen down here into this ravine, even. Oh, yeah. I see a grave. 
Um, okay. So, yeah, there does appear to be what looks like a grave over there. And let me know if you want to, like, you know, do, if your character's, like, doing anything in, in general. <laughs> I'm going to go check it out. Okay. Captain Bakerbell. Captain Bakerbell. Uh oh. Captain Bakerbell. No more MHC. <laughs> 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 what could cause that charred ground there? I don't know. I thought we were looking for a ship. I don't see any sailboats. Whoops. Maybe <coughs> I, don't I don't know anything about this captain at all. The sheriff might know, right? Okay, Cavolta. Cavolta, oh, can you roll a perception roll? And actually, we'll have. Uh, uh, Kaylin, you were at, or Cedar was actually down there by the grave too. Uh, if you can roll as well, forgot to. Okay, so, uh, Damien, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Damien heard something. Uh, he was thought it maybe it was a, a bell sound, but not a bell. Coming from where? Bell? Well, then, then the gravel fell, and, and you, you're you're certain you heard something, but you're not sure. I don't know what direction mm. it came from. Yeah, people. Well, people. Yeah, I mean, now people I've, are moving and making. I've heard. Yeah, hear well, that. hear what? Sounded like a bell. Type. I've heard that some people are buried with a bell on their finger protect against being buried alive is it possible there's oh, someone alive down there that's clever should we check i think we have an obligation to if somebody's in danger we should try to save him all right so if you start digging in the grave, I was I was thinking you I was thinking you got you would just be like okay shh, everyone wait I'm trying to listen, <laughs> but okay I guess that's fine too, so uh, you can you can once you start digging there's something down there some sort of contraption, uh, some sort of electronics, but. Uh, W would you be familiar with redstone? Would any of you? Your uh, characters? I definitely would. I, I am a little bit. I've heard of it, but I've I never think, used it. I think somebody, and I don't remember, I actually don't remember who, but one of you had uh, like mechanical devices or something like yeah, that. That's, that's me. Okay. <laughs> so there doesn't appear to be a coffin nor a body in this grave, but there appears to be some sort of contraption redstone thingy going on down there interesting so as players out of character don't worry about the fact that it's just a circle <laughs> it's it's just simulating some sort of big redstone thing down there okay figure out how uh, to did you turn it off destroying it. you can break that piece of pod soul. that would be fine yeah somebody broke it that's that's fine it was just Ooh, it was just to give you the idea. So <clears throat> who has the I think Kovolta you Damien has the mechanical rating thing, right? Yes. Okay. So do you want to roll can you put the maybe don't have yeah. the lava out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll the mechanical rating. If if you roll a one, I might make you accidentally spill the lava. <laughs> If I knew you had that, that would have been interesting when... Okay. Well, so you can tell from examining this redstone circuitry that the div whatever this thing is, it seems to be powering that block with the circle on it. So perhaps by breaking the redstone circuit, like that block would become unpowered. What is that thing? I've never seen anything like that. I don't that. know. Now, okay, you guys are all looking this way, I think. Uh, 
this. Uh, and do this. Okay. So when the when you break the redstone, you hear uh, you hear like oh by the way the machine was was making a dinging sound like a ding ding right. and when you broke the redstone you hear you didn't realize it before but there was a low hum and you hear the hum like power down like and nothing happens as you're looking into the quote unquote grave so why don't you guys all roll uh just for my own amusement. <laughs> Roll initiative. How about that? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh uh, Roll initiative? Yeah, let's do initiative. Just for fun. Okay, perfect. So, Felonius, uh, this is what I was actually hoping, but you're the first one to, like, look up in a, and around kind of not understanding what's going on. I have absolutely no idea. I'm trying to, to keep an eye out so <clears throat> nothing happens. What's that? Okay, now you guys can all just do free movement. Look over whatever. there. Where did that come from? Was that there before? Didn't Can't be. Did I do oh, that? Dear. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. <laughs> we haven't we have never seen anything like that in the mail, I can tell you that much. Doesn't look like a ship. Only ship I've seen. Well we ain't gonna so name you it see, like crash into the mountain like that. You see a structure, maybe? That that seems to be wedged into the side of the mountain. Uh, there's more rubble and burnt ground below it. Uh, it seems to have like a faint... There seems to be like a white box around it, sort of. Uh, and after a few seconds, actually, I'm going to take it away. It fades, <clears throat> and the box around it actually fades and disappears. Oh, yeah. Hold on one second. Why did it not fade and disappear? <laughs> it go. should fade and disappear. That's the rule. As the last of the power drains out of the cloaking device. And uh, as players, uh, it is a ship that has sort of turned on its side and hit the ground and then flew off and crashed and lodged itself into the other hill. As characters, as you start to kind of climb around it and examine it, there is a there is a splotch of blood up on top, and what appears to be a doorway on top, maybe an iron doorway. But there doesn't seem to be any sort of door handle or anything. Uh, there is there is kind of a key keypad lock there, but obviously you don't really know what that would be i mean maybe felonius has a chance to nope. get an idea of what a keypad is but uh yeah, yeah a lever lever would work <laughs> <laughs> i can get this open <laughs> okay. so you can you the we'll say the entire door opens but obviously minecraft physics won't allow it so you're able to get the ship door to open that's a long I hope this blood it can. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, and hold on one second. Oh, Let me oh, pick up the empty yeah, jump that broke. A bit stiff. All right. So Adobe, I'm guessing, jumps in. Mm-hmm. What's Wait, down there? Okay. Now, actually, Adobe, when you when you land and turn and look. So, so this ship is pretty alien to you, but <clears throat> when you are it's on like this locomotive of some kind, and you turn, yeah, <laughs> it could look like the interior. This symbol right here, this is very, very familiar to you. In fact, that is a red star that your character would know very well. 
Do you know what I'm referring to? Uh, it sort of looks like a sheriff badge, but not. No, really. no, no, no. <laughs> uh, in your... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> okay. So I don't want to say more. I will let you. I'll let you deal with that information. Uh, I need to <laughs> look at my stuff. And I am actually. Uh, okay, never mind. I won't say it. <clears throat> I won't say it. So you guys, the rest of you see um, Adobe drop. I'm assuming you're standing up there looking at him and Dimitri is, okay, Dimitri's up there too. So he's looking around and then he just freezes in place for a moment, kind of staring to the west. What do you see? What do you see? Uh, you me down? In red stars. <laughs> red stars? He's built such a thing. Now, I'm just only because I don't know if you guys looked at your characters in a while. <laughs> but like, I know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know where you're going, so yeah. Okay, thank you. And Felonius, um, just just to remind the player about something in your stamp collection, but that's all I'm gonna say. I can't, okay. <clears throat> I can't see anything about stamps from here, so no, I don't know okay. what you're doing. Okay. All right. So Adobe, I think it's, I think it's kind of your uh, move, if you will. We're not doing initiative or anything like that, but they yeah, said, "What? What do you see?" Uh, well, I see the symbol of the red stars, who are this horror. Was it? I can't remember. I had a couple of different ideas as I was. I don't remember if it was like <laughs> oh. a bandit group or a yeah, you said church or the red, the red Star Bandits. Okay. Yeah, so the Red Star Bandits—they terrorized my town forever, um, but I've never seen them build anything like this. They terrorized my town as well. They killed really? my parents. Who in the what now? The Red Star Bandits. Hmm. Well, we need to get to the bottom of this. If they're involved in whatever happened to us, then they've got to be stopped. I, see, I, think, uh, I think, Damien, you may have heard of such uh, bandits, but they not you've never really encountered them in any meaningful way i don't think yeah. and feloni or dimitri would not have heard of red star bandits nope but okay <laughs> uh yeah there weren't supposed to be four chests down there i know why there are four but it's fine <laughs> 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 okay anyway so oh they all appear to be empty okay that's fine that's um good. let me describe this room to you adobe and then others once you come down here you'll see it so i mean it is pretty much as it looks a ship sort of turned on its side uh and you'll have to determine how much your character recognizes but there's two fairly cushiony chairs facing like a console with some computer <coughs> and this thing in the back here, uh, some sort of device with a, well, if you mouse over it, you'll see it says fuel rod, but basically there's a glowing thing in a uh, receptacle and then there's a second receptacle that's empty next to it. And then, yep, there's another door of below the red star banner into another compartment. Uh, and you can assume this quartz is all like some sort of futuristic material, plasticky metal. So what do you guys want to do? <clears throat> 